Um, so I hope that felt good. I think it's just kind of a moment between these two. Um, both of them have this one thing in common. Hey friends, hey, welcome back to She's So Dramatic. Thank you for joining me for another video. I have a, a What's In My Bag video theater edition because we begin a, a rehearsals for a new play tonight. So our new play is called Is God Is by Alicia Harris. Uh, we have our first rehearsal with everyone tonight, which will be a table read. So I need to get my theater bag organized again um, because it's been kind of a hot mess. Um, since I wasn't using it all summer long. Really, this will be kind of a combination of a uh, new planner accessories haul as well as how I'm packing my theater bag for tonight. All right, so let me get everything into my theater bag and I'll come back and show you what I'm looking like. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and get her packed up so I can head on down to the theater. So I am gonna be using this Dooney and Burke uh, tote it's so old, y'all. I couldn't even tell you the name of it. Um, this is probably a good six to eight years old. I have shown this one before in a different uh, What's In My Bag theater edition. So I kind of like this one to take down to the theater because it's so wide open. So I am going to be using this one again for this play. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to keep everything that I need in here. Um, my theater stuff and my personal stuff is not going to fit, so I will have to carry my purse as well. And so I'm just going to choose the purse that matches it. Um, and it's it's heavy, y'all. <laughs> so y'all, I admit that I am a pack rat. Like, I admit it. Um, the purse itself is heavy all by itself because of the material, because of the leather. So I'm hoping that I can work something out where maybe I can leave my purse in the car, in my truck, while I'm in the theater. So we'll see if that works out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm not going to be able to fit all of my personal items in with my theater items. So let's go ahead and get started packing this up. Let me move this to the side. I did want to show you one thing before I get started because I haven't been in this bag all summer long and it's just been kind of thrown in my closet. I have not taken great care of it. I do, I did have some scuff marks on the corners of the bag um, just from it rubbing up against other things. But I wanted to show you a product that I got off of Amazon several years ago and it's called this Chamberlain's Leather Milk. And this is a really good conditioner. So I've already hit up the other four corners because you could see this, this wear and tear on all the corners. So I hit up the other four corners and they are looking pretty good. So I just wanted to show you real quick. I'm going to fix this. I have a, um, just an old towel. This is what it looks like. And it's pretty soft. As a matter of fact, I'm making a little bit of a mess. If you can see the, the gloss on my fingers. So it's pretty soft. So I'm just gonna dip some in here and apply that to the scuff marks. Let me wipe my fingers off a little bit. I'm gonna apply that to this scuff mark right here so you can see that I'm able to condition it somewhat and bring it back to life a little bit. And I really should be doing this more often. Ah. <sighs> I think I'm finally in a season of my life where I can take care of myself and my things a little bit better now that my kids are older. So I look forward to being able to focus on me a little bit more. But do you see? See how that conditioned it and just kind of brought it back to life and it doesn't look as scuffed? So yeah. So I need to do this more often, but anyway, just wanted to show you that in case you need a product like this. All right. So, okay, let's go ahead and get her packed up. Let me move this out the way. All right. So, um, I think I'm going to pack her up this way. I have my flat items like my notebook and my script 
um, on this side. Um, so it's empty right now, except for a few pens. I do have a few pens in this pocket. And y'all, this is just what nerds do. I know I got a whole pencil pouch that I just showed you and that I'm getting ready to put in here. But just in case the bag ever gets separated from the pencil pouch, I will have some backups. It's just what we do, y'all. <laughs> Nothing's in that pocket and nothing is in this slip pocket right here. And then I've just got some extra um, plastic wear in here that I keep in here just in case I ever need it. Uh, because we, hold on, it's stuck. Because we rehearse in the evenings, a lot of times, uh, many of us will bring our dinner to the theater and just have dinner on our break. So just in case I ever need some extra plastic wear, we have a kitchen area at the theater that has all of this stuff in it, but you just never know. Um, okay, so let me slide in first. I've got a couple of folders that I use. Um, one has my personal contracts in it for the theater. So I like to keep this with me at all times. And the other one has um, our calendar, our season calendar and our design team and just other important information about all the shows of the season. If I have not mentioned it already, I have been promoted um, to associate artistic director for my theater. So um, this is just my folder where I like to keep up with all of the plays that we are producing, not just the one that I'm directing or stage managing or working on, but all of the plays that we're producing at the theater. So that was a, a plus this year and another transition that I am going through. And I'll talk about it a little bit more when I do my planner video because I keep my vision board in my planner. So that's something that I can check off of the list. So I will slide these things in first. Okay, next up is the script, which I showed you in the previous clip. So this is our script. And um, right now I, I have it flagged just kind of haphazardly as I was reading through it. I was trying to separate the, the different scenes, but this play is so unconventional that I think the director is gonna wanna um, separate the scenes differently. Um, as a matter of fact, I know that's what she's gonna wanna do. The director is a good friend of mine and I, I kind of know her style. So right now these flags are just up here haphazardly, but I will fix them when she actually decides how she wants to break her, her scenes down. Um, in this binder, I keep the same tabs. I just move them from script to script. Um, but I have a, a section that has the scene breakdown, uh, the design information, contact sheet and sign in, dramaturgy, which is what I am doing on this production. I am the dramaturg and then um, information about the stage management booth. Um, and that's a lot of what is behind that is all of our uh, sound, sound design, how to operate our soundboard and our light board is what that is. But anyway, so that's going in next. All right, and so I will go ahead and throw my personal planner because I do have to align the theater's calendar with my personal calendar. So I like to keep that on me at all times. And I think what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna stand these up. So, because I wanna have room to put something over here. So I'm gonna change the way these are situated in here. And I'll give you an overhead view in just a moment, but I'm gonna stand them up this way so that I have room for my pencil pouch right there, okay? So I'll stand them up this way, slide that in there. And again, this will be less bulky when I fix it, when I get my new discs and I fix it. Also, once we get going, I may not need to carry my script with me all the time. I should be able to just leave it at the theater in my little spot um, in the rehearsal space. So I may not have to carry this back and forth all the time. So that's what it's looking like so far. All right, next up is the new pencil pouch. So this is what I showed you in the previous clip. And the way I chose to organize it is to have 
So I have the pens, pencils, and highlighters that I think I'll use the most. That's one of the new pretty ones, the green marble. That's my old faithful, the black Sharpie uh, felt pen. That's the new gel pen, the new S gel. And I've got a pencil and one of the new highlighters with the uh, window, with the open window. So inside, I do have all of my flags. I have um, some correction fluid. I have, and y'all, the reason why I keep so many flags is because I have to mark up the script accordingly. Like I, I like to use, if I'm stage managing, I like to use yellow flags for lighting. I like to use blue flags for sound. I like to use orange or green flags for props. So I'm not stage managing this one, but I do just like to keep all of my flags with me. I've got some scissors in here. I've got more highlighters. I've got some measuring tape in case we need to make adjustments to the prop. Uh, in case we need to make adjustments to the um, the rehearsal space, the way that it's uh, mapped out and marked out, um, or if someone needs to be measured for costumes. And that's all that I have in this bottom portion. Scissors, did I say scissors? Okay, and in the top portion up here in this zipper pouch, I just have some cords that um, are adapters in case I need to hook my laptop up to a different monitor. Uh, there's a charging adapter in here and here is some correction tape. That's what I've got up there. So that's how I'm using my new pencil pouch. Okay. And so I want to be able to put that right on the side, just like that. I have some wet ones that I like to keep on me. So I'm going to slide those right on the side as well okay and i like to i got this from another planner this idea um from another um actually she's not a planner she's a purse she's a um she creates content about you know what's in my bags so and her name what is her name um michelle from determined to be um, so she keeps all of her wet ones and wipes and things like that in these plastic envelope pouches. I got these off of Amazon. I don't know if these are the exact ones that she uses, but that's where I got this idea from. Because, you know, sometimes if this little opening, uh, flips up the fluid, uh, from inside of the, the, antibac the antibacterial fluid can get out and whatever it's next to will end up being wet. So keeping it in this little plastic envelope pouch solves that problem. So again, sliding that right there. And then uh, a couple more things. I do have this little pouch of mints, cough drops, and I think that's all that's in there. Mints and cough drops. That comes in really handy when you have actors, of course, who are using their, their, their instrument, their voices. That comes in very handy. And even though I'm not stage managing this particular show, I'm not directing it, that's just the mama in me to want to take care of everyone. So I like to have things in my bag um, that anyone might be able to use. Um, I do have uh, some hand sanitizer spray that I will drop in here. I like to have a spray option also. And then I have this fan that um, somebody brought me from Las Vegas. Um, and I like to just keep this in my bag for those times when I will get hot because we're doing a lot of move, moving in the theater space, in the rehearsal space. So I just keep that right there in that slip pocket. And then <laughs> here is my emergency pouch. I've talked about this before. So, okay, y'all, this is a judgment-free zone, right? <laughs> But this is just, it's actually a cosmetic pouch. As you can see, it says It Cosmetics. I got this last, I feel like last holiday season. Um, uh, I, I got two of them actually. So what I decided to use one of them for is my little emergency pack for the theater. So first of all, I'd like to keep a packet of soup 
when we are, because our rehearsals, y'all, we rehearse for six weeks. So we rehearse five days a week in the evenings for six weeks. So we're, we're together in that rehearsal space for a long period of time. And um, I like to have with me at all times this little Lipton soup mix, just in case I'm not feeling well, maybe my tummy is just not acting right. I just like to have this with me at all times as a comfort item. This is one of my comfort items. Another one of my comfort items is tea. So I have various tea packets in here that I can use. Uh, it kind of calms my anxiety. And again, it's just a comfort item. So I've got some peach tea, some peppermint tea. This is spearmint. So lots of tea options in here. And then what goes best with tea than toddy? I mean, come on. <laughs> so I have my toddy items in here as well, which is just these little miniature bottles of crown that you can add to your tea. I've also got some honey packets and some lemon packets back here, okay? So listen, I am prepared at all times to calm myself down, to comfort myself, to relieve my anxiety, and to have me a good old hot toddy. <laughs> so that's kind of the running joke at the theater because the founder teases, he teases me all the time, me and my good, good theater buddy uh, who happens to be directing this play. Listen, we love a good toddy. <laughs> That's my drinking partner, so he teases us all the time. But we still get things done. Now, don't don't be mistaken. We still get things done. But, you know, every now and then, you just need a little something. So that goes right here. My little emergency pack with my soup, my tea, and my toddy items. All right? So last two things, I'd like to keep a, um, a cup. A mug, you know, uh, insulated, that's what I'm trying to say, an insulated cup or mug with me at all times for my tea or my coffee uh, to keep it warm while we, while we are rehearsing so I don't have to keep warming it up. So this is the one that I tend to take with me to the theater and I'll just leave this there so after today I won't have to lug this back and forth. I will leave this on my little table in my space. So I'll put that right on top. And then the last thing I'm gonna slide in here is my laptop over here. So I'll be able to slide that right in here. And I need a sleeve, y'all. I know I need a laptop sleeve. I just haven't purchased one yet. But that is how my theater bag is packed up. Again, we start our new play rehearsal tonight, so I am going to be ready to go. So, I hope you enjoyed, let me turn this around, I hope you enjoyed this What's in My Theater bag and all of the goodies that I have purchased recently to help me get organized this theater season. I hope you've enjoyed watching all of that. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Again, I do want to do an updated planner video, so that'll probably be what's next. And until then, I hope you all are well. I hope you are spending time with the people and the things that bring you joy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.